Maya is a resilient young woman who makes strong and smart decisions, who is exciting and interesting and adventurous and doesn't take no for an answer. And she is on a road trip with her partner across the country and something terrible starts to happen when they get into an Airbnb. And I think you'll be really surprised to see uh, just how resilient she is. I have to be honest, I'm like so lucky. He's the easiest person to have chemistry with in the world. He's like so, I'm sure you probably already interviewed him. He's like kind and lovely and genuine and just, I mean, he's all of the good things that you want in a co-star and more. So I just got lucky, it was very easy. It felt really natural, honestly. I got very lucky. I, I showed up on set and I was like, hey, I have some thoughts and notes on you know the script and they were super receptive to it. And from that moment on, they asked me to be a producer and come on and edit the movies with them and mix the films. And I'm learning so much through this process. And it, it was obviously, there were moments where it was challenging and there was a lack of of sleep because I had both hats on, but it was so worth it and what a cool place to learn. Yeah, Ryan is a very soft-spoken, vulnerable, um, great guy and you know he loves nothing more than Maya and so the two of them are kind of on this road trip that goes really, really for the worst that it could possibly go. Um, and yeah, he kind of learns to, to say, what he, say what he wants to say and, and, and love people the way that he wants to love them uh, throughout the movie. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for people to see him and get to meet him. It was really important for us to make sure that the couple felt like a real couple. Like they've been together for five years at this point. They've they've talked about marriage. They, you know, they've they know each other better than anybody else does, and they kind of share a secret language. And so we, we sat down a lot. And we were like, okay, what are what are some like little moments? What are some beats that we can hit? And it's impossible not to have chemistry with Mads. She could have chemistry with a brick wall. So we did 52 days shooting three movies and. Not only was she like completely in it as an actor, but she was also producing and also writing and taking care of the crew and rescheduling. And it, I just admire her so much as a producer, as a leader, as an actor. Um, and it was really great to get to work with her. Well, I mean, I hope they have a great ride and I hope, I hope they get some thrills and some scares, which I think they will. Um, I hope they're excited for their chapter two and chapter three of this trilogy. And um, you know, I hope they I hope they think about the people in, in their life that they love, and I hope they think about you know what matters to them and, and what things they've maybe not had the the courage to say quite yet, but they would in other circumstances. I feel like they've really pieced together such a great trilogy. Um, I think people who are huge fans of this cult following, I think um, they're really going to get a lot more in depth and a lot more backstory, which I think is really going to excite people. I think that it could actually happen. I think it's a very, very scary thing, and I think anyone who watched the original, I think it's still horrified to this day. Um, so I think that really, that really kind of frightens people deep down. I mean, it frightens me. So. <laughs> It was wonderful. Everyone in the cast um, has been doing this for quite some time, and um, we had the greatest time <laughs> in the woods in Slovakia, which is um, where my parents are from. <laughs> they immigrated in the 90s, so it was like such a pleasure to shoot there and hear the language on set. So. I can't wait. I mean, I I can tell you when I worked for Blumhouse, I was in so many like test screenings, like curled up in a ball. So I'm I'm kind of um, excited to experience that again as a viewer. Yeah. What's unique about it is that it's a theatrical episodic experience, which is which is quite unique. I don't think it's ever been done before. If it has, it's pretty rare. So you get all three of them back to back. We film them back to back. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. The fans are so excited about the whole franchise, and it's great to be involved and to work with like Rennie, who's a fantastic director. I think it's the fact that you're safe in your home, and then when people just show up it kind of disturbs your own peace or your own like shelter and I think that resonates with everyone. I think they want um, the excitement that came from the original series and the original franchise and I am excited about people seeing it in a different way in a different light with this incredible cast. It's amazing it's been two years of hard work and uh, now we are on the red carpet and uh, finally the world gets to see what we've been working on. We've uh, worked on a four and a half hour epic and they get to see the first chapter now. And uh, for me, especially with horror films, seeing the audience react to what you have created is the best reward. Finding Mads was li catching lightning in a bottle. Not only she is talented and beautiful, but she is a force to reckon with. And uh, <clears throat> her intelligence and her resilience and her physicality and her sense of humor and everything was, was the glue that kept, kept it all together. And uh, I literally 
drag these poor actors through hell and uh, they never complained and Freud is just a sweetheart and their chemistry together is something that we, we think is just really, really special. The key to The Strangers universe is that it's real. It is something that any audience member can feel could happen to them if they were so unlucky. There's a violent crime every 26 seconds in the United States. So it's pure luck, you know, if you avoid that situation in your, hopefully in your life. But, uh, but the key to this move is, is that it feels so realistic. It's never bigger than life. It's not supernatural. It's something very, very real. The challenge was to be shooting three movies at the same time and being able to adjust from, from one movie to another in a matter of a few hours for the actors, for the crew, for myself, being also always emotionally in the right place at the right time. Uh, and, uh, and the opportunity was that you get to explore these characters for four and a half hours instead of a normal hour and a half. It might be cruel to say, but I hope that people will really think twice when somebody rings their doorbell or knocks on their door and never open the door without being sure that they know who's out there. And uh, I just want the audience to have a cathartic, great experience and have fun being scared. It's such a big property and we are really proud with what we did, reimagining the whole story and as a jumping off point and it's character driven it's elevated it's extremely like visually stunning as well in its creepiness and you know suspense so we're really proud of what we did and we hope that it really resonates with the audiences Madeline Petch was beyond incredible you couldn't have asked for a better Maya what she put through in terms of the work the dedication more prepared than any actor that I've ever met and she was also extremely involved creatively from the get-go which made we made her an executive producer afterwards and Freud Gutierrez was the perfect Ryan it's almost like they're the yin and the yang of the relationship and they each bring out the best of that relationship and we feel for them we root for them we don't have to wait a year or two to come back and be reunited to make a second installment or a third installment. So I think that's really the strongest takeaway is being able to do all of these all at once together. Well, I think Madeline Pesch is a emerging superstar. I mean, this woman can act and she works unbelievable. I mean, she never stopped working the whole time. And you know, the, the, it was a very, very hard shoot. It's like just going off with your sweetie and having a great time is now out the window. It's, it's too close to reality. I mean, beyond exciting. I mean, we've been working on this for me personally three years. Uh, so I'm just thrilled finally that they can see it. I'm so excited even tonight to watch it with this big an audience because I think the biggest audience is like 100 before this. Terrifying absolute real horror that is absolutely like truly terrifying full of suspense and tension and really anytime our goal is is once you watch this film if you get a knock on your door you're going to think about our film i want people to have a good fun experience that's what these movies are supposed to be but i want them to have really been scared and been on a journey right and be super excited to see what happens to maya next because this is very unique in that way we said can you come up with um three movies based on this kind of initial concept that, that started out like this and uh and we put it together and said yeah you mean three movies that take place over like different years oh no no one, three movies that take place you know right away so uh um that's how i got involved and then we put our heads together and uh and came up with three uh three unique movies that have some uh, good character uh, reveal and also a little character reveal about who the strangers are. I think uh, a, to, to have a horror movie where they can go, you know, I really have a scary good time, but also, go, hey, there's it's there's some complexity to it and, and also learn about not just the characters who you see uh, without masks, but the characters who are behind the mask and learn a little bit more about them, which is uh, go a little deeper and, and you'll be, you'll, but when you see all three movies, yeah, you'll, you'll go, oh, this was a satisfying journey.